Somebody would ask, well, well, what's the goal here? Well, the first goal is relax. That's the very first thing we're gonna work on. We're just relaxing. I'm gonna invite her into this space. I'm gonna ask her to bring her head to me like that. And then I'm, I'm gonna walk away, okay? And see if I can get her to follow out of there, which is a lead up, okay? Which is very important for the horse to, to come with you. Not for a trick because it proves how the horse views you. We wanna get rid of all that apprehension. So let's see if we can get her to, see if we can get her to look back just like that. And uh, that's so much of a curiosity kind of a thing. It's not. Okay, we're gonna work on some free movement here again. We just want the horse to make its way around the pen in a comfortable way. Just getting used to our presence here. Okay. She is, she's calmed down quite a bit now. I like how she's just walking there. I'm gonna to continue to follow her around here. Okay, so now she's at the trot. Let's work on a transition down to the walk. I'll just start slowing down. Now I would prefer her to trot and then come down to the walk. So she wants to face up. I think that's sort of an old habit of hers, but that's okay, we're gonna work with it. We don't want her to, every time we scratch our head, that she faces up because we can't, we can't do our work then, right? In a real nice way if I can. If she's nervous, that's okay too. So she's at the trot. <clears throat> now I'm gonna slow my walk down. She caught that. She's trotting and I'm gonna slow down. She catches that. That's so interesting, she's, she's, she catches my body language there. She catches that energy when I'm with her at the trot, then I slow down to the walk. She catches that just like this, except she's going into an old habit that she had, possibly the way she had been worked with before, to where that means face up, shut down and quit moving. Where that doesn't serve any purpose, especially for the riding, when we want to go somewhere and do things okay so what i'm going to have to do here the challenge is to communicate to her that i would still like her to keep walking the trot to walk transition and then keep walking versus facing up what's interesting too is she's quick to face up and put me ahead of their shoulder but she's, but she's not really keen on me approaching her. So that's sort of funny. You would think that if she, if she could face up, that you could approach her, but it doesn't work that way because when the face up is a defensive posture, they don't feel secure in that. So what we'll do here is I'm gonna take this space over here and I'm just gonna support her. I'm not trying to drive her around the pen uh, or anything. I'm not trying, I'm trying to slow down. She, her energy level's at 100, okay? Mine's down here like 5%. I'm gonna support her direction here to the left. I'm gonna keep sweeping this way, see? I'm gonna come over this way. And then if I can approach her, that's fine, but if I can't, no problem either, okay? I'm gonna go out that way. I'm gonna come around here to my right, come in behind here, follow. She's thinking, well, can't escape to the left. I'm gonna wing around and go to the right. Thing is, I don't want her to even have that on her mind that she has to escape, okay? So when, when you work with the horse too fast and you ask for all these turns, right, left, stop, go this way, go that way, Makes them sort of crazy, right? They don't, they don't understand. It's too much inputs. That's real nice. In that case, I'm not even gonna, there's a time that I reach for a horse and there's a time that I don't. If I'm thinking about building the relationship, then I'm not gonna just do everything all at once. I got plenty of time to pet her 
And of course, you can pet this horse in different situations. So new environment, horses to look at, dogs going by, all these things are distractions. It's totally fine with me, but she's got to learn how to just, just get calm. I'm going to put my hand over here first, and I'm going to see if I can pet her here. That's real nice. And since she's standing here calm, I mean, that took a lot, right? We want to get rid of all that apprehension. So let's see if we can get her to see if we can get her to look back just like that. And uh, that's so much of a curiosity kind of a thing. It's not, it's not a trick. And I didn't use carrots to get that done. It's just using the natural curiosity of the horse to get that happening. Now from here, if I can get her to look, and what I was gonna say is, if she looked, I was, I'm gonna walk off this way, see? I'm gonna walk, there we go. See her, I can draw her head toward me, okay? If it doesn't happen, that's okay. I'm gonna make a little space here. I'm gonna have her move off. I'm just gonna throw my rope right that, in that area behind her. Okay. She's off to the races again. Somebody would ask, well, well, what's the goal here? Well, the first goal is relax. That's the very first thing we're going to work on. We're just relaxing. We don't want any of that nervous behavior. We want her to feel confidence with us in the pen. I'm blending in now. <laughs> You saw that. You might rewind that part of the tape and see what I did there. Not much. I took my hand here. If I was by myself, I might have not have done that, but just for the camera or when I'm teaching in front of people, I use my hands a lot to show the direction, show the intention of what I'm trying to do, the shape. I might do these things. But she caught, and nonetheless, she caught that and thought, oh, there's a change happening. And then she went to her default face up position okay she's more you have to recognize that this is a defensive posture she says i feel more comfortable with you in front of me in front of my shoulders where i can keep tabs on you and i don't feel as comfortable if you're at the rib okay so i'm going to come over here and i want her to be start to get real comfortable with me here because this is where i'm going to get on her okay i'm going to saddle her you're going to do a lot of things here if i can get her to look backside here and have her come into a follow okay just like that across the pin here I'm gonna rotate around I'm gonna try to get to those ribs again see how she blocks me and look at the posture of her feet right there that last step so she took that left front and stuck it out there at the same time that head went there so what she's telling me is I'm not a hundred percent comfortable with you over there. So what to do? I might use my rope here. I can use my hand, but I'll, I'll show you how I use how I use a tool. This rope can enter the space that I can't. Okay, she might be concerned with me or the rope, but generally speaking, you can get this. You can get the rope in there a little sooner than your body, because I'm going to reach across this line. Then I'm going to come over here. And if she's curious enough, I'll see if she can me out. This all counts for being confident. Now she's she lost me, I lost her, and she's off. She says, Well, that didn't last long. And she's off to the race again. Okay. okay so I'm following. Now I'm gonna change. Right there, see when I said change, she changed. But I'm not gonna change all the way. See, if I start to blend in too much, she's gonna face up. So I'm gonna keep a little bit of a following feel going. It's like right on the precipice, right? Right on the edge. If I blend in too much, see? If I do too much, she's gonna face up. And remember, blending in means doing pretty much exactly what the horse is doing. You're not driving, you're not following. You're not influencing, except that you're doing exactly what the horse is doing independently 
so that you can finally come together with the horse. So here, it's more of a blending now. I noticed that she was gonna keep walking, so now I'm just blending in. Now what I'll do is, I'll just keep walking actually here, and we might get a stop out of the deal. Hopefully not here at the gate. We'll go by because of the camera here. Get her on the other side, I'll wait. Okay, now, maybe I can walk a little closer to her. And when I did that, when I inched toward her, six inches, that was her flight zone, she took off. Okay. So we can do this for 45 minutes, <laughs> but we want to be efficient as well. So we're just trying to, uh, if we want the horse to be patient with us, uh, then we're going to be patient with them. That's real nice. And if you noticed, when she got okay, a little bit more okay with me being here on the side, when she traveled around the pen, she was quicker to slow down and she walked for a, for a greater distance with me instead of facing up or blasting off. I'm gonna invite her into this space. I'm gonna ask her to bring her head to me like that. And then I'm, I'm gonna walk away, okay? And see if I can get her to follow out of there, which is a lead up, okay? which is very important for the horse to, to come with you. Not for a trick because it proves how the horse views you. Okay. So this is real nice. I'm gonna just stop here. And now I might work on this other side. The head's already over there, remember, because she blocks me over there. And plus, in all honesty, there's some distractions over here going on, the horse is whinnying. So of course she's gonna look that way anyway. I could touch her nose. I'm going to get her used to me here. Same thing applies here. Ask for her head. That's nice. I'm going to walk away. That moment that curiosity comes in there pretty strong, that's your opportunity to say, hey, you want to walk with me? And then she does. Really, really nice. Really nice. There's the curiosity is what I'm talking about. So she went from fear, unsureness, fear, to more confident, curious. She's still concerned, no doubt. If I jumped up and down here, she'd take off or kick me in the head, right, on the way by. So you just got to be careful here. 